The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. In Part A, we're asked to state the hypothesis and conclusion for the given conditional statement. Remember that the hypothesis is the if part of the statement. An angle measures 60 degrees. The conclusion is the then part of the statement. It is acute. In Part B, we're asked to write the converse of our conditional statement. Remember that the converse of a conditional statement simply switches the hypothesis and conclusion. So here, the converse is, if an angle is acute, then it measures 60 degrees. In Part C, we're asked if the given statement is a biconditional. Remember that a biconditional is a statement in which both the original conditional statement and its converse are true statements. Our conditional statement is true. If an angle measures 60 degrees, then it is acute. But the converse is false, because if an angle is acute, it does not necessarily measure 60 degrees. It could have any measure between 0 and 90 degrees. So a counterexample would be a 35 degree angle. Since the converse is false, our original statement is not a biconditional.